Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are finally going to talk about my skin condition called atopic dermatitis, also known as eczema, more commonly known as skin asthma. If you want to know more about eczema and you know the just general stuff about having this condition, then please keep on watching. But while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and click that notification bell so you can get notified whenever I have any uploads. So let's start. So first things first you guys, um, disclaimer muna before anything else. I'm not a dermatologist and obviously I'm just sharing my experiences. So um, in case now you do feel like you have eczema, might as well get it checked first to dermatologist to confirm because I would never ever ever allow this video to become like parang source ng self-diagnosis. So please consult your dermatologist first. And now let's go straight to the facts. Okay, so let me just tell you guys the flow of this video. So first we're going to talk about um, what eczema is, yung causes niya, and general tips and tricks. So basically itong video na to, it's not gonna be like product specific and all that. Um, I'm gonna make a separate video for that. So ngayon, I'm just gonna talk about the basics, like general info, general tips and tricks on how to manage flares and all that. If you've been watching my videos for a long time, every makeup tutorial, every video, I would always explain myself na parang, I have atopic dermatitis, please excuse my skin, blah blah blah. And I feel like it's time for me to open up about it and hopefully become, you know, an inspiration to those who have the same skin condition because Honestly, I've been looking um, for videos about eczema, like Filipino videos. Ha? Wala ko masyado nakita. I think there were like three videos. But you know, um, I want to create more content about it. Now, I'm starting to embrace yung skin condition ko as well. And you know, just inform people about it and make sure that other people are more educated about it. And to lessen yung mga weird looks and stares and comments sa mga tao whenever we wear something. Nakita yung mga battle scars namin. And ayun. Okay, so what is eczema? So eczema is basically patches of inflamed skin that's like super itchy. Um, it usually um, happens or like occurs sa uh, um, make it usually occurs sa parts ng body that have creases. So in my case, I have sa neck ko, ayan, here, sa eyelids, dito sa my arms ko. Actually, you know, it's it's all over the place, but it's just like patches. So a common question that I would normally get regarding eczema is if it's contagious or nakakahawa. So hindi siya nakakahawa, you guys. So I remember this one friend of mine um, a couple of years back, um, she was like, So I was like, Sis, hindi ko nakakahawa. So yun, um, putting it out there, hindi nakakahawa ng eczema. So this is passed down from generations to generations to generations. So chances are, if you have relatives who have this skin condition, then definitely candidate ka rin or possibly meron ka rin. Baka hindi lang tinotopak. Pero in my case, um, sa mom side ko, almost everyone has eczema. Sa side naman ng dad ko, I think he's the only one who has, you know, eczema. Sa aming magkakapatid, there's four of us. So my kuya, I don't think he has it. Ako, meron ako. But when I was growing up, as a child, I didn't have it. But when I turned like 12 or 13, ayan na nag-start na siya dito. Tapos long sleeves pa yung uniform ko for high school. So, eh di pa naiinitan at nagsusweat. Nagiging itchy pa siya. So, my brother David, he has oily skin like my mom. So, obviously, wala siyang eczema. Now, Jonas naman, he had really bad eczema as a baby. But he eventually grew out of it and ginamat din kasi. Tapos ngayon, he has really good skin now. Tapos naging oily na siya for some reason. I don't know. And, yeah. All I'm saying is, this is a hereditary thing. It's not... Um, it's not contagious. It's not as if it's a flu or something. So please stop it with the nahahawa na ata ang sa yung comments. So. Okay, so now let's talk about yung flares. So flares, yun yung pag kumakapal, short yun natopak siya. So this varies from person to person. Um, share ko lang yung mga akin kasi chances are baka pareho tayo. So 
in case you come across this video and you know you're listening to me right now let me know in the comments if you have the same you know flare causes the first thing i have to talk about is change of climate or temperature for example January, di ba? Parang medyo malamig pa yan. Pag bandang katapusin na ng February, pag medyo umiinit na, ayan, kakapal-kapal na yung mga parts na yan. Ganun din, kapag nag months na, kapag mga bandang November na, pag medyo lumalamig na, ayan na, kakalat na yan. And you would see that even in my videos. Like if you check yung months ng mga past videos ko, kung kailan ako may flare, kailan wala, doon yung makikita yun. And, yeah. Another factor or cause that I noticed is yung food na kinakain ko. So, for example, chicken. Chicken and spicy food to be specific. Yung dalawang yun yung pinakanapansin ko. So, yung sa chicken, I don't know why, pero this is yung chicken na may bone. Tapos kapag chicken nuggets, chicken fillet, chicken fingers, mga ganon, hindi nag-flare yung Eczema ko. So, what else? Um, yung sa temperature, I think factor din yung sinusuot natin. Kasi ako, like me, mahilig ako mag-denim jacket, mag-oversized jackets, and all that. Medyo nakaka... nakaka siya. Kasi namamawis tayo eh. Like, this climate brain does not let us wear, you know, thick clothes. Okay. So, last cause that I noticed lang is stress. So, basically, pag exam week, ayan, ang pangit ng balat ko, lalo dito. Most of the time, dito rin sa eyes. Every issue I'm facing, definitely, kamot ako ng kamot. And it's all over the place. Lalo sa neck ko, ayan, actually, ngayon wala. Pero it leaves a mark kasi. Okay, so now let's just talk about general tips and tricks on how to manage flares. Okay, so first things first, make sure to consult your dermatologist. I already said this earlier. But of course, they know better than us. Second tip is to moisturize twice a day at least. If you can do it thrice a day, then better. Third tip is to watch what you eat. So for example, if you don't know what you cause of flares, unlike me, I'm already na identify ko na siya. Check mo closely. Like, if you eat something, tapos nag flare and you take note of it. So next tip is to drink lots of water and yun, stay hydrated. Like, hindi lang yung pag moisturize you know, just stay hydrated talaga. Like, your body has to stay hydrated. And lastly, um, in terms of choosing products for you, um, I would recommend parang looking for the words hydrating, moisturizing, or water-based. For me, personally, like sa makeup, like foundation and all that, dati pinipilit ko sarili ko sa man. But I noticed how it would look so bad. Like, ang dry lalo tingnan. Tapos, nagkaka-fair. So, ako nangangati ako dun sa makeup. So, you should find something that's moisturizing and, you know, hydrating. Mga ganong words. Yun yung mga keywords to look for. So, if you have any suggestions on videos about eczema or whatever else you wanna know, leave a comment down below or keep in touch with me on social media. You can look for me, Nikki Napalang X, on Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and click the notification bell so you can get notified for new uploads. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a reminder, for those who have eczema like me, please learn to embrace your skin and don't mind what people think. Wag nyo nang isipin yung sasabihin nila na, Ano ba yung suot mo? Kadiri yung balat mo? Whatever you wanna wear, go ahead and wear it. Wag nyo silang pansinin. Now, for those of you who do not have eczema, and, you know, um, hindi pa rin masyadong nasasanay sa sight of, you know, these type of things, I honestly hope that you guys learn to respect yung feelings namin, be more mindful with what you say, um, do your best not to stare, and you know, just let them be. Wala naman, wala, wala kami pinagkaiba sa ibang tao. So, there's no need to like, bash us, or insult us, or whatever. So, yeah. Yun lang. Uh, thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!